Experimental theater. I am your host, Julian Brain. Well, today's subject matter <laughs> well, we'll be examining energy and uh, how matter, <laughs> you get it, is turned into a solid object. Cool. We'll use this equation to explain E equals MC squared. Energy is, or is the combination of mass multiplied by the speed of light times itself, where light travels at a supersonic gargantuan rate of like 186,000 miles per second. Whoa, that's fast! Indeed it is. To get a clear picture of what we're talking about here, we first have to understand the atom. This is an atom. An atom is an infinitesimal, eensy, weensy, teensy, weeny, teeny, tiny, microscopic. Uh -huh. You can't even see it. It's too little, mini, single bundle of ball of energy. Well, inside this atom, there is even tinier particles. Inside there is a positively charged proton and the neutrally charged neutron. Surrounded by a cloud of negative charged electrons, circulating the nucleus of an atom, like, like the planet circulating the sun. The electrons hold atoms together in a, like a molecule, thus allowing to mix atoms to create an element. In this case, dioxide from the two small individual oxygen atoms. Each element consists of atoms. Protons combine to form the nucleus of a new atom, which is how elements are formed. See, the number of protons within the atom's nucleus determines the chemical property in its location on the periodic table, which is arranged according to number of protons it possesses at its nucleus, known as its atomic number. Kind of like zinc. Zinc has 30 protons, while gold has 79 protons at its nucleus. So it's the vibration movement of these teeny, tiny, easy, weightsy, introspectable atoms, and they're combining together that brings things into visible plane of perception. All the physical and material objects we sense and experience. To further demonstrate this point, um, I'll show you a short film. You guys! What is energy? Where does energy come from? How are objects formed? Energy is the vibrational frequency pattern and substance molding and holding everything we see and don't see together. There are several different types of energy, such as kinetic energy, like the acceleration momentum of a roller coaster. There's also potential, also known as stored energy. There's thermal energy or thermodynamic energy. There's of course the holding and molding gravitational energy, as well as sound energy. There's elastic energy determining the object's distortion ability. And certainly the type of energy that we're talking about, the electrical and magnetic, electromagnetic energy. E equals mc squared. But energy and matter are ultimately the same thing, one form visible and one invisible. Energy is neither created nor destroyed, only transformed or transferred. Therefore, 
Energy can turn into matter, and matter can turn into energy. But how does it do so? E equals mc squared. The equation scientists use to explain how energy turns into matter for centuries. But what exactly does that mean? E equals mc squared. Energy equals matter multiplied by the speed of light squared or the speed of light multiplied by itself. Matter being the atom, light traveling at the high speed of 186,000 miles per second. So that squared would be 34,596,000,000 miles per second. Oh, that's fast! <laughs> yes, extremely. But I need you to watch the film. So, E equals MC squared is saying, Energy is atoms vibrating at the rate of 34,596,000,000 miles per second, which is extremely fast. Energy gains mass when accelerating. When atoms vibrate rapidly, known as oscillation, they begin to create energy mass. The higher the velocity or rate of vibration, the greater the mass becomes. Cool! Never seen anything that's cool. The closer the atoms approach the speed of light, the heavier they become, eventually becoming too massive to accelerate anymore. But the energy continues to pile on. Whoa! Whoa, Whoa that's, that's cool. cool! Never loses its amazing quality. Objects always stop before reaching the speed of light. This is known as the light barrier. Atom vibrations oscillate so fast that they appear to freeze. This frozen energy, also known as rest energy, continues to pile on as it continues to increase in vibration. All physical matter and substance is frozen energy. Mighty interesting. Depending on the atomic structure or the number of atoms grouped in its nucleus will determine the element. Everything is composed of atoms and elements from water, to gold, to human beings and planets, stars and suns, the entire universe. Yeah, that was awesome! Yeah, that was cool! Yeah, that was cool! Uh, so cool! Great film, Julian! Yeah, I know I have that. Uh, but the, the main thing is I want to know is, what did you all learn? I learned that all things are vibrations, from solid forms and sounds to smells, light, electricity, even your thoughts. <laughs> very, very true. Great job, Becky. Uh, what else did we learn? Depending on the number of proton atoms grouped in the nucleus, it determines the element. Like, calcium has 20 protons at its nucleus, which is in cheese and broccoli. Calcium also is great for your bones. Wow, gumshoe! Well, that's very, very true. Calcium is also good for your bones as well as your teeth. See? Helps to make them healthy and strong. Water is correct, and when you add the carbon element to the equation, you have the formula for the chain of life, represented by CHO, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Wow, you're really smart, Julian. I really admire your brain. No pun intended. <laughs> I know, none taken, my queen bee. The Tuning in to Experimental Theater. We, we hope, hope you, you enjoyed, enjoyed your time. time. Bye bye. bye. bye.